Bridget. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, okay. So this is 10 questions with young leaders. Can you please introduce yourself first? Oh, my name is Bridget. I'm a lawyer. Uh, I'm the vice president of the Pro Tem Committee for Muda. Uh, I am also a husband and father. Oh, there's a chess set here. So can we play while I ask you some questions? Sure, sure. Okay, so since when did you join politics and why? Um, since the Sheraton move really, uh, why I joined is because I wanted a platform to reinvigorate people's trust in democracy and elections. Because after the Sheraton move, people were just not interested and had lost hope, and especially the young people, and I don't want that to happen. The second reason is that I want more youths to be uh, interested and to join politics. Uh, there's a severe underrepresentation of youths in parliament and cabinet. Uh, with more youths in public, public policy level, I do think that more fresh ideas on education, on, on the economy, can be injected in our, in our policy making, and that will benefit us all. Well, what is the three words to describe about yourself, and what is your principle in life? Um, I would say inquisitive, passionate, and uh, humble, I like to think I'm humble. Um, my principle in life would be best reflected in a quote by Mark Twain that I really like, which is that um, in 20 years from now, you will regret the things that you didn't do, rather than the things that you did. So explore, dream, discover. Okay, so what was the last book you read, and what is your favourite quote? Um, the last book I read happened to be one of the Harry Potter books. I still go back to those books. Um, one quote that I really like from um, Albus Dumbledore is that um, it is our choices, Harry, that uh, show us what we truly are, more so than our abilities. And I think that's very profound. Okay, so why must young people be aware of politics? Um, because politics affects you in a very direct, immediate manner. Uh, your level of education, your uh, employment opportunities, the economy that you will live in in the next 10 and 20 years is directly shaped by politics. If you don't take an interest in politics today, you're going to really dislike the world that you're living in in 10 and 20 years time. Checkmate by the way. Hey, uh, that's too bad, we can't continue. So anyway, so here's the next question. So who is your uh, favorite singer? Um, James Blunt. Oh, okay, so can you sing for us? I'm a terrible singer, but what I can do is play a musical instrument. I hope you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's a short one. Yeah, that's a short one. That's nice. So, who is my idol? Uh, my idol would be Greta Thunberg. Uh, it's a bit counterintuitive that my idol is younger than me, but she has done so many amazing things to bring climate change issues to the forefront. And I think that we should all try to emulate her. All right. So in the future, if you become a member of parliament, what is the first thing you want to do for the people? There's so many things, but if there's one thing, I would like to really drastically improve our education quality and system be it at the national school level or the university level. I think that there's so many areas to improve, there's so many developments globally like AI and technology that we are missing out and I don't want us and our children to be missing out on all of that. Alright Wei Jian, can you please name three individuals that you want to see to become the next Prime Minister? Um, Sai Sadiq, Hannah Yeo, Fami Fazio. And not 10 or 20 years from today but now. Okay, so for my last question, what is your advice for you? Um, pay attention to what's happening in our country and around the world. So much corruption and racism happening in our country. Climate change disasters is going to happen in the next 10 and 20 years. The question is, what are you, as youths, are going to do about it? And I hope that at, when you reach a point in time in life where you have the resources and time to do something, I hope that you step up and you be counted. That's oh, my advice. Okay. Alright, so that's all the 10th question with young leaders. So thank you, Wei and
See you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.